Chris Godwin injured his hamstring on this play, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you about why this is more concerning than a typical hamstring injury. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and if it's your first time watching these videos and you enjoy learning about injury mechanisms and the underlying anatomy, then please be sure and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with my future videos. Chris Godwin has, of course, been making headlines because of his sooner than normal return from his ACL injury. And I'll be honest, on this play, when I first saw it, I was more concerned about Godwin's right knee than I was his hamstring. And specifically the MCL concerned me. Of course, that was part of Godwin's original injury, something that was repaired during the surgery. So if we recall, the MCL is the ligament that runs on the inside of the knee. So it's gonna be right here in this position on Godwin's knee. As he tries to awkwardly catch this pass, his right leg sort of gets caught out and in front of him a little bit. And we can see how that knee almost drags inward a little bit. We call this a little bit of valgus. We can see that angle there of that knee going inward. Now, thankfully, the foot is not anchored into the ground, and so there's less force that's gonna be transmitted through the knee, but because we saw that little degree of valgus, my first thought was maybe this had been a little bit of pull on the MCL, not necessarily a bad injury, but enough to sort of get his attention. One thing that did look nice here, whenever Godwin turned to run up the field, this is a move that sometimes will cause ACL injuries, where you plant that right foot right there, and then turn to cut and go up the field and change direction. And so the fact that they're not seemingly concerned about his knee is a good sign. We didn't see any obvious shift of the tibia to suggest an ACL injury. So seeing him complete this move in that turn without clear evidence of an ACL injury was definitely reassuring. I suspect it was this moment right here though, where he's bent forward and that leg goes straight, where he injured the hamstring. And then focusing on just the hamstring muscles first with our biodigital anatomy tool here, of course the hamstring is a group of muscles that sit on the back or the posterior thigh. The primary action of the hamstring muscles is knee flexion, so bringing the knee up behind you like you're gonna do a butt kicker exercise. But remember that the hamstring muscles originate up on the pelvis, specifically an area of the pelvis called the ischium. What that means is if an athlete is in some position where their trunk is bent forward with their legs straight, that's going to put more stretch on the hamstrings because you're rotating the pelvis anterior, and that's gonna pull along the back of the thigh, potentially putting stress on the hamstrings. If we look at the position that Godwin was in, we can see how he's in that position with his trunk flexed forward, which is gonna rotate that pelvis, pull the ischium in a way that's going to stress the hamstrings on that posterior thigh. So I suspect that it was this moment when those hamstrings just got overstretched. It almost looks like his knee even goes into full extension, and again, that's gonna cause even more stretch on the hamstring. So I think this was more the stretch mechanism of hamstring injury, as opposed to the more sprint mechanism whenever guys are just taking off running and pull at mid run. In general, those overstretch type injuries tend to take longer to heal than the sprinting type injuries. They also tend to affect a different muscle, more the ones on the inside of the back of the thigh, the semimembranosus, semitendinosus, as opposed to the ones on the outside that are more injured with the sprint, the biceps femoris. So the fact that this was an overstretch mechanism, again, suggests a likely longer recovery. The second concern here is how the hamstring muscle supports the ACL, which is of course important for a guy who's returning quickly from an ACL surgery. If I hide the outline of the femur a little bit, in red back there, we can see the ACL, that anterior cruciate ligament, which sits in the inside of the knee and runs from the back of the femur to the front of the tibia. Because that's the orientation of the ACL, what it does, is it helps to in part prevent the tibia from going forward or anterior relative to the femur or the thigh bone. But if we look, there's muscles that actively help to support the knee, just like the ACL is passively supporting the knee. The muscles that actively prevent the tibia from going forward are the hamstrings. You can almost see how that tendon of the hamstring muscle almost runs in the same line as the ACL sitting behind it. And I'll get rid of um, of our MCL ligament there on the inside. So you can see the correlation between that hamstring tendon and the ACL running in the same direction. So optimal hamstring strength is extremely important for ACL injuries because the hamstrings dynamically support the ACL and support the knee. What this means is for somebody who's coming off of an ACL injury, they need to have their hamstrings in tip top shape. They need to have optimal hamstring firing with no pain inhibition or dysfunction because of how much you need those hamstrings to help support that ACL. I think because of this, you have to be much more specific about return to play here and be more cautious. Because of that presence of the ACL tear, we know that you need to have the hamstrings in much higher shape and function compared to a situation where say you have a healthy knee. Also, when someone's just come back from one injury and then suffers another, 
just that culmination of multiple injuries is going to make it harder to return. Now you're trying to rehab multiple things because remember, Godwin is still doing rehab type activities for his ACL. Now there's another injury that he has to deal with and so it raises that level of complexity. Do I think in any way this is like a season ending thing? No, but this is something that I have much more concern about than just a typical hamstring injury for the reasons outlined before. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.